This is the same thing as uh, the first part. Where am I? Well, well. It appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. How are you feeling, Your Highness? Uh, my head. I had a dream. I. I'm okay. Thanks for coming, Lydia. It's quite a good scheme to get out of work on a Monday, huh? Spare me your jokes. I've already had enough nightmares. You were really in bad shape, man. Down in there? <sighs> I mean, I wondered what became a husher. Now that you mention it, I found a note which... Daniel, the doctor said you need complete rest. Complete. I'm fine. Really. I found this. Apparently, Husher received a music box from an acquaintance of his. A certain Mr. Farber. It seems as though he was researching the music box when he vanished. And from what Farber says, the music box may be related to everything that has happened. I'm not sure we should stick our nose into this business after everything that's occurred. She may be right, Daniel. I'm sure the police are very close to finding out where Husher is. Do you think the police would have found me? We need to find Husher. I saw the box that Faber describes in this letter, but it wasn't really there. It was as if it were on the other side of... Oh. I think we should pay a visit to this Faber and ask him about the music box and Husher. He has a shop in the city, not far from here. Daniel, please. I'm fine, really. I think going to a shop and asking the owner a few questions falls within the range of what we can do, don't you? <coughs> All right. So we're visiting a shop. And uh, this is Farber and Sons. We have Antonin here. We got Daniel. Uh, Daniel has a sobriety coin, uh, which he, he, everything stat is like looks like it's perfect. Like he's an average character. Uh, we're gonna pass on him. What do we have here. She's the antique shop. She manages the shop with her father. Uh, so she has, uh, headphones. This guy's got a gun, Renee. Oh, okay. Um, he gets easily startled, it looks like. Uh, I got a gun. <laughs> Stealth is a two. Strength is a... His strength is actually pretty big. His speed's pretty good, too. I think we're gonna pick the cop. We're gonna pick Renee. This is on October 1st, 1998, so it's a couple of days later. What do we got here? List of items can be found in the shop. It's well stocked. Hope whatever's under that flower pot isn't the key to the shop. Huh. I think we found the key to the antique shop. Maybe they're the ones who report bizarre occurrences. Can we leave to go upstairs? No. Alright. Mm -mm. Alright, so. Easily use the key on that one. Is in there. Hmm. Umbrellas, they look like they were used to be good in some of the shop. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be happening. There we go. Eerily quiet. Okay. 
clothes hanger and a hat. Everything seems to be in order and quiet, but I'd better check things out in here. All right. Hmm? We're a cop, and we're checking out the place here. Telescope. I know more pervs that use them to spy on their neighbors and astronomy fans to use this through the gates of the stars. It's like it's a... It's not Zoltar, it's, it's, it's Goltar. Alright, what do we got here? Got some notarinos. Can't find it. I can't remember where I stored the blastic music box that I felt like and I otherwise where it could be. In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry blood stains. We took it out to the courtyard and dragged it into one of our storage rooms in the basement. But which one did I did we place it in? Can't even remember what color or shape it was. What's wrong with me? Could I possibly reveal the blood left behind somehow? I would have to buy luminol, right? This is the police use. Perhaps that way I could find the products. And the wardrobe in the box with it. Sebastian says I must return it to the original owners. I can manage that with this madness and. Receipts for purchases of several lots of antiques by the Harper Sun Shop, along with the address of the original owners in those lots. One is marked letters, old furnishings, and a music box. Le Grant Ansberg Auction. Which I imagine is what we have circled. Closet. Uh, dear Isaac, I'm sorry about your trouble getting to sleep. If this is any consolation, I have been suffering the same plight recently myself, perhaps due to the intimate proofreading of my novel. Quality can be measured by the time invested, and it should be one of my finest works. However, I suspect that this might not be always be the case. Despite everything, I have found a bit of time to look into your mysterious music box. Based on the carving in the wood, I'm certain it's European, from the late 19th to early 20th century. Also known as there's an extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item uh, back in its era. Alright. Box of private business documents not really organized. That's all that's in here? Gallery door closed, ask at the counter. Scrolls, old tomes, stacks of books. Is that book? Right. A dummy for dressmaking, not much interest. Guitar, empty suitcase, that ancient spyglass, not too shabby. Got a cannon, <laughs> selling it to a citizen to be irresponsible. A weapon should not. We Shouldn't be used as a decoration. Four vases, nothing was unpacked. Impressive suit of armoire. There's a is there a door in here? There's a door right there, but it's blocked off. Okay. Um It's a bathroom, I think. Okay. We 
have a spray bottle. Um, appears to hold something dang some dangerous substances. It's like the second mirror we've seen that's been broken so far. Towels covered with dust. Locks an exit door. Let's go behind the counter. Let's see if we have. Document. Also, that would be really fine. Let me keep it under lock and key. Investigating everything here. The table is covered with shop sales materials. There is space underneath it. Is that a hiding spot? Yes, it is. Almost an army entirely. I mean, entirely of wood. It's impressive. It looks like it's holding something in its mouth. Okay, on the phone. We got a token uh, for the Coltar machine. Okay. We have here a drawer closed with the high security steel lock. I hope they don't store any money in there and not be safe. So we have to get something to pry it open, I guess. All right, there's a door here. Uh, let's go to the counter. Switch for electrical devices. I need a special key to turn it on. So I need a special key. Even the water hitting the uh, the roof sounds really weird. Nothing. Mm -mm. Lots. So where can we go now? I think we can... There's another door over there on the side. We have a key? Oh, we have the... Uh, we have the Zoltar machine. Oh, we have a... We have a thick... Oh, we can use that key for the... Oh, we can use this key for the exit door. Derp, derp. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. This is 
something that you forgot. I remember it immediately blessed. There is something you forgot. Uh, lock key door over there. That's next to the. That's the exit door. Okay. Let's go to the exit door. Offices, maybe? Nope. All three are locked. Okay. And we don't have the key with it. What is it, 9mm here? Lizzie has the umbrella logo on it. What the hell? It's interesting. That's <laughs> very interesting. Oh, wait, we got haikus here. All right. The crawling ones listen behind the mirror. Don't let them out. The crawling ones listen behind the mirror. Okay. Searching for the glow, warrior cage rain, and one down below. So this, this one... Um, it seems like I, if there's mirrors, don't let them out of the mirror. This one looks like it's like a puzzle or something. Like you're getting something. Warrior cage rain and one down below. Searching for the glow. Um, I'm assuming it's down in a puddle or, a, or whatever. I don't know. Fire exit. Oh. Right, this is interesting. I'm concerned that I haven't seen anyone yet. Yeah, a ton of doors. No, the coin. That's a cold tar coin. I'm gonna assume this one's locked too, I think. It makes sense, right? Gardening tools. Nothing else, nothing draws my attention. Bicycles. Bins are full of rubbish. No way. That's locked. 
That's where it seems like you can get uh, upstairs somehow. He's, uh, he's Jamaican. Okay. <laughs> he turned Jamaican. Mm -mm. Right. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah, no. Good. Ah, <sighs> rounds the attack does the small lake in one of the water pipes. I placed a water bucket and will send notice to building the structures and it has a point where they come down. So I approach to us whenever in response, the pounding stops. I hear a melody playing behind me. Pair of blue pajamas, his eyes are closed, and his hands are his hands is holding the music box is placed so he ignores me when I call to him, enters the shop leading to his shop. Uh what was there another thing to the night shift the tort? No. Okay. Could be a puzzle for the lockbox. Alright. Hmm. Store's closed with an anti theft mechanism and nice it's nice and thick. <laughs> Neighborhood's quiet, I better stay safe. It's probably the same thing. This music does not really help out things. are left in plain view of everyone, despite it here's lack of professionalism. I'll use the clothes hanger on it. Right? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not that good. What is that sound? Is that from up top? Oh. Whoa. camera just derped down. What the fuck? Uh, okay. That's jammed. Is this camera gonna do it too? No. All right. Um, so we have to go back down to the cellar and uh, we'll get ourselves Remember the health fell down there. It 
doesn't help when these sounds are just what was that going on a zoning voice do I like this I will never be able to hear a thing he's Jamaican how is he Jamaican okay so this is actually a soundproof door all right so I think what we have to do is uh, there's that there's that camera feed look at that in a second we got a Zoltar Prediction from the coach. Hmm. The cult arms machine. Pain win, pain lose. Having doubts go right through. Alright, let's see what this thing's got here. Uh, do we really have to zoom in? Like five, five nights of Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> but it fled the scene. But it fled the scene. All right. So he's saying that it fled. Nothing abnormal. It fled the scene. Uh, I don't think I can get in there yet because I don't have the metal thing. I guess or whatever the hell it is. And the spooky shit begins. Sure. What the? Stop! <laughs> Stop! Hmm? Right. Oh! Okay, we got a magnet. So I'm guessing we could probably use uh, the hanger with the. Good. There we go. He was a hanger with the, with the with that, with the uh, magnet, and then he just grabbed the keys. Okay. Hmm. But I'm sure this will be useful. I'm sure it will. Oh, we gotta go back that way then, huh? Freaky factor is is going up a little bit here. Nice music stopped. He's getting scared. He's got a gun. Not that you can shoot this thing, but, you know. Let's go take care of that. What? Whoa. Hi. Can't see. It can't see you, but it can hear you. Running is futile. I'm gonna keep calm, stay quiet in order to do so. I need to control your breathing. By gently moving LTRT, uh, try to keep the white circles, uh, try to get the white circle as close to the frame as possible. Uh, it feels like your presence. It'll come closer and closer. Each mistake you make, don't let it shift. Alright, let's see how this works. 
Oh, like that. Okay. Uh, Jamaican cop, but he's French. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's use the clothes hanger with the magnet. Get ourselves some keys. Hmm. Doorman's keys. Uh, doorman's master set will probably open several doors. Nice. I'm assuming we can open this door right here then. See what we got here. Day shift the plumber from the insurance arrives to repair the leak the pipe. Sign the insurance claim. Blah blah blah. Package delivered to block two flat three B. No one. I, I like when there's numbers in these things. Uh, Nobody is home. It is stored at the doorman's desk temporarily. Isaac asked about the incident which took place during the night shift. It seems to be confused and not to know what I'm talking about. And appearing upset. He asked him many questions. I offered to call him. Sure, it's fine. Door to door salesman is trying to sneak into the inner courtyard. I ushered him out of the building. Okay. Here is the key to the switch you'll find on the shop counter. In case anyone accesses the exhibit gallery, there are security cameras. This one. Hmm. Crime. Oh, okay, here's the handle. something on that cleaning cart. A bra? Okay. Oh. Hydrogen peroxide is full... A full bottle of liquid antiseptic. I think they probably combine it with something else. Uh, let's see. Can I combine that with this? Mm -mm. Here, nice.
Let's see if that opens down the stairs. Tools. Uh, note found in the waste paper basket. Damn, Walter, why the hell, what the hell have you done? Found traces of mud on the stairs to block four, which leads you down to the window on the first floor. I informed the building handyman so he can fix this as soon as possible. I don't know what the hell's up with that girl. I really don't give a damn. Stop screwing around and making your, uh, and start behaving yourself. It may turn out she's not hysterical as you claim. Uh, you're one big weirdo. This is the last time I'm putting my arse on for you. Our uh, arse on the line for you. Utility meters. Ooh. Got a wrench. Hmm? And more tools. Yeah, that door don't sound too good. The guy's kind of freaking out a little bit too. He goes up each individual step. Look at that. 10 out of 10 game making right there. Grab the wrench again. So yeah, I think you have to leave the area. I think. What was this key? Hmm? Say Garber. Okay. All right. Let's go uh, crank that handle. The courtyard has a couple of doors that we can get to. That's fine. <sighs> God. Um, we'll check out that door. That's... Oh, is there a hiding space here? Oh. Just 
know what just happened. Jesus, what the hell does the earthquake mean? That's like the second time it's ever happened. But I don't like the sound of it, so I'm just gonna freaking run like hell. Alright, let's put this in here. Got that for the door now. Check up sees anything on the camera. Looks pretty safe. safe in there. Proceed with caution. Oh my god, more shadow. Ooh, a hundred party hats or party poppers and one more party poppers. 101 bits. Thanks, Mar Shadow, for the 101 bitterinos. That was a close one, even though he's French, but he sounds Jamaican, so we don't we're not too sure what kind of allegiance he is right now. <laughs> oh, Door on the glass display has a combination lock. I wonder if there's anything useful inside. Alright, we got a puzzle here. We don't know the code. Firearm. Ah. Oh. There is a firearm here as decorative. Alright, so we don't know the code. Alright, there's a code in this room. Yeah, it can only it can only hear. It can't see anything. Which is kind of a good thing, you know. Ooh, that, oh, that that guy was so freaking close. All right, exhibit hall has uh Oh, just doing just doing spectacular, you know, playing this game. Ah, fine. Not scared at all, except for that damn thing. Uh, we have to go to the courtyard, and uh, uh, there's some doors that we have to unlock over there, and I think there's that door, but we don't have... Actually, we do have a key for that, but I don't think I want to use it if there's anything, you know, I want to get to the apartments first. Doing just, just fine. Oh, I have the keys for the, um, I have the keys for this, these doors here, too. Courtyard sounds like already, too. And it's not, it's not like a regular, it's not a big courtyard, it's like a small courtyard. Uh, let's use these doorman's keys. Good. Let us see what is on the other side. Got 
mannequins, cabinets filled with documentations. I'm not gonna look. No, I don't wanna look in there. So this guy's French. His name's Rene, but he sounds like a Jamaican, which I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm afraid it's too late. I've heard the melody. Catherine, the children are to have to just once nothing will happen to them. What? Dear God, that melody! Something is different inside of my head. It's made me see things I don't understand. Things I would rather not continue seeing. I'm so sorry, Isaac, but I feel forced to send this music box back to you. I will keep researching it. But I don't want to have it anywhere near me. I must think of my family. Please take care of yourself and forgive my lack of courage. Sebastian P. Husher. It's a little bit of lore. Got some paintings. That's it. So you have uh, different characters in episode two. There's a couple of characters that reoccur from the uh... Ooh, original episode. Where are we? This goes to the interior flats. Let's give it a shot. Right. I had another nightmare last night. I didn't want to see whatever it was. I was afraid. Afraid of going mad if I did. So, perhaps in a rush of panic, courage, or folly, I turned on the light and woke up. I got out of bed and went to the bathroom to wash my face, attempting to lift away the heavy feeling of something pressing on my chest. Then I saw my reflection in the mirror. The face looking back at me was all right, whatever. Nope. Uh, nope. Right. Can't use any keys there. Someone's locked it. All right. Mm -mm. That's locked too. Got a note. I kept a copy of the key to the house in the display case in the showroom inside the Chinese puzzle. I would have left it at the store for you, but I didn't trust a doorman. I provided you with a reminder of the combination on the back of this note in somewhat cryptic form, though, just in case it falls into the indiscreet hands. Okay, so we have the combination. Um, it's, uh, it's eight, five... Was it 14? 2, 11. Six wheel. I can't write in Roman numerals, which means it's probably a zero. Uh, Walter, if you're reading this, take a hike. I'm assuming this is the, the key for this door right here. Mm mm. So, um, what the fuck? Where are we hiding? Where are we hiding? Uh, in the shop. Negative. There's no way to hide. What the Negative. fuck? There's no way to hide.
Oh god. Oof. I get to you in one second. Started my little temp job today and was being a receptionist and it was tough. Have you ever been a receptionist before? Blood of Jesus, that was horrific. <laughs> oh God, the blood of Jesus, that was horrific. Ah, uh, okay, so it's like a first time thing. I think we're cool. Alright. Let's get in that fucking door. Uh, he sounds like Dracula. <laughs> He's Dracula cop. Okay. Puzzle time. So, let's look at the note again. Um, there we go. First wheel is five, six, seven, eight, from left to right. Oh, shit, you can look at the document. Hold on, here we go. RT document. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, that's cool. Uh, second wheel is five. Right. Third wheel is 14. Nine, 12, 13, 14, is it E? Hold on, how many wheels are there? Three, four, there's six wheels. The fourth wheel is two. This one's 11. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then he can't write the other one because there is no Roman numeral for that, so. Good. Nice! Okay, that was right. right. Hmm. Oh, what do we got here? A hollow wooden cylinder divided into several things. Wait, what the hell? Is it? It's missing a screw cap on one end. Okay. Uh, I think this room is clear. We don't have to come back here anymore, thank God. Alright. Um... Try the basement. Now let's, let's let's go up. Let's go to the courtyard. So we, we're missing. Can I combine that with um? Hold on. Mm -mm. Nope. So it's missing a, a thing on it. Let's hear 
door? I think we can use the doorman's keys on these ones. I don't need that here. Okay. find the key. Oh, we're done with our keys. Oh, shit. That's not good. So there's the doors are all locked, I'm assuming. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Looks like it. Nope. We have a We have a copper key, but we don't know where that copper key is. I think I know I think I know the ordinary. Unfortunately, mm -mm. I need to find the key for four C. Nope. Or four four B. Mm -mm. I don't think that key's gonna work on this. So. Tell you to turn around, dude. Go, go, go. There you are. So we're missing a. Uh... We're missing a part. Can these doors open up still or no? no way. Oh, that's blocked. Okay, we can't go that way. This is the door we need to get, but. Is this the right key? Mm -mm. Damn it. So, the only door that I know. is the basement door. There's also, wait, hold on, is there one over there? Uh, where am I? Oh, there's one over there, hold on. Let's go that way. There's this door right here. Really? Alright. So that key will more than likely go downstairs. There's a key that was a door that needed to be open.
Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the hell? Well, that was pretty easy to get. <laughs> I got a gun. That's all I got. There's other right there. Blood of Jesus. That was horrific. <laughs> I don't think he sounds like Dracula. He just sounds like he's Jamaican. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. It's funny though. Where is this lead on? Alright, that leads to okay, yeah, we don't have to go over there. only one door. Technically two doors, but... That door is questionable. Alright, that sounds pretty good. No way. This with a different key? So I have, what, what does this ancient key do? Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I combine it? Hold on. Nope. No. Hmm? If I want to open this thing, it looks like I need to find the missing piece and put each ring in its place. There's anything like one of these things right here, but um, let's keep exploring a little bit. It might be in here somewhere. Where else I haven't gone so far? That door is not locked. That door you can't go in. There's locked doors, locked doors, locked doors, locked doors. Too many locked doors. Package is delivered to block two B flat uh, block two flat three B. Nobody's home. It's stored at the doorman's desk temporarily. So let's go back to the doorman's desk, and that's over here. I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad, but we'll find out. The doorman's desk is like right here. Table over here. All right, what am I missing here? Oh, fuck.
trying to find... Something, I think. There's nothing... There, there might be something left in here that I need. Let's see, let's, let's check around here a little bit. There's nothing in here, I don't think. That's that. Yeah, there's nothing here. Everything's inside in his case, and everything is whatever. Alright, so where the hell do I go now? I'm trying to figure this out here. Because the doors don't open over there. But this, this key is what's really puzzling me. It's a copper key. Hmm. It says Farber. Okay, so it's Farber. So what's a Farber key? It looks like a key to a cupboard or something like that. A farber. Alright, so let's go back to our notes for one second. We can't combine that with that. Yeah. Okay. I have a copy of the key in the house, in the display case, in this room, inside the Chinese puzzle. Um, would have left it at the store for you, but I don't trust the door. Yeah, that's fine. So I have a, a key that I don't know what it does. That door needs a key, but that, that key doesn't exist for that thing. That key downstairs doesn't open that door. Hold on. Hmm. The only door is that other one over here to the shop that goes over there to her house, but I can try it. Let's try it out. I don't think it's the right key though. my problem right now.
Oh wait, hold on a second. That doesn't matter. Maybe one of these doors can use it. Nice, okay, cool. Alright, let's see what's in here. It's a dark room. Interesting. Something isn't right here. I'd better check the area. Alright, we're in. Ah, okay, here's a piece that we need. Alright, cool. Piles of booze. Clear remains of a fire on the bed, but Farber attempted to commit arson. He would have left other clues behind. Alright, we're investigating. We got a Ouija board. Whoa! Touch the Ouija board. I should seal this door. Huh. Huh. Tape recorder. Erica, I hope you are the one to find this, my daughter. I have had a few problems. Some sort of nightmares or visions. I don't know what to call them. I'm exhausted. I have a hard time falling asleep, and the doctor believes it's stress. But I suspect it's something else altogether. That. Enough of this. Too stressed to hear this guy. Hey, did I put the solution in here? Look at chemistry lab. Not way. I think I'm missing certain substances to make anything useful. Okay, so there's a puzzle here. So I'm guessing uh, peroxide is or the one that I have right now is like one of them. so forth. Man, this place is big. Another broken mirror. There's a leak, so this room's kind of Not useless, but...
bathroom. Uh, I'm really in this bathroom. Two bathrooms side to side? It's kind of weird. Uh. Yeah, we're not going in there. What the hell? Uh. uh. What the fuck, nooses? <gasps> Bulb. Light bulb could be useful. I don't think Mr. Farber would mind if I borrowed it. Ah. That. Hmm. I can use it to black light to look for blood remains. Okay. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I think, um. I think this clown tried to actually kill his wife or something. It, it, it seems like it. Yeah. Candlestick in movies? Oh. In movies, it's always the real murder weapon, but I've never seen one used to kill anyone in real life before. Right. What do we got here? We got a letter? <sighs> Hope you're feeling better, at least a bit calm. I know who made the box, but he died years ago. His name was Argos Legrands. I believe. In case Lazar returned the box, we have a list from auction to purchase it. Uh, I think things have improved since I sent back to you. Yes, I'm positive. Hope everything's going well. Newspaper. People use guns and knives all the time. Yeah, well, maybe one day I'll murder somebody with a candlestick. <laughs> You'll never know. Latin American recipes. Picked a pile of bric a brac. Let's clean those in place of time. Cigarettes. A lot of sugar rich. Instructions on keys. Dear daughter, I've arranged the keys for you. The ones in the right hand column are old keys. I only keep them just in case. The colored, or the colored metal keys are for the security door to the shop and locks. The square gold keys and the plastic black keys are for all devices and apparatuses in the shop. The round triangle silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. The green is for your motorcycle. The red plastic key is for the safe. The small gold key is for the gold box for mother's things. The other three are for storage rooms and warehouses where we keep lots of antiques. Thanks for nothing, Daddy. Professor Plum caught in the kitchen with a lead pipe, <laughs> right? Ooh, pet food. Hmm. Ah, you know, some dead cockroaches in here. That sounds delicious. Alright, 
this room's clear. <gasps> oh god! What the fuck? I think this guy was supposed to be Jamaican originally. I'm, I'm, hundred percent sure. I want to go through that one. I don't want to go through that one door, but, but the, the 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 sound of the nooses are like. I'm gonna go through it. Police, open the door. No way. Did you just say police open the door? All right, let's get out of here. We have a we have a lot of things now. I'm booped. <laughs> Got boop arenoed. Um, so let's combine this with mm -hmm. that. All right. Hey, puzzles. Um, fuck. Process. So. We go okay i see how it is right what do we got here we got keys uh, it has a little hmm. cthulhu squid on it we got the jingle jingles or does it open this, this door over here hold on hold on a second Nice, okay. We were off by like a, a flat. Okay. What do we got in here? A little propane. Not cigarettes. Check was at three B. I think we can go through one of these windows though to get to the, the shed. No way. No. Um is it three B or three C? Oh! Okay. It was three C. I'm a police oh, officer. Shit. Anyone in the house? I'm a police officer. <laughs> the 
this guy's voice, man. It looks empty. I don't have a search warrant, but something tells me we're dealing with an emergency. Oh, good. A note about combining several chemicals? In their dirty trousers. Let me find it. I think this room is like a safe room in the game. Feel safe because you have the music playing. Could be wrong. I'm trying to remember the bottles A and B are the same. And their taps as well. Okay, we have a mixture combination. I got through here. Do I have a key here? A lot, of, a lot of plant looking at. A lot of plants. I got scorpions. Hmm? Uh, spider by the coin. Oh, there's a coin in there. Oh! Use the food. Renee is deathly afraid of spiders. I, think I do love comedies. So this cop loves comedies. Well, this ain't a comedy. There's a lot of keys on there. That's a key puzzle, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Ghost, monster, demon, my own insanity. She needs to leave this place in my woman's hands. I'm going to go to the other photographs they can on your own. Is it me? Where's Simon? Can't get in there. Can I get in anymore? There's something underground. Show them to Erica when she comes back. Don't go downstairs. I'm searching through someone's property on a warrant. Wish I had a better alternative. God damn. What are you looking for? So. There's a note about um, the keys. There we go. Wait, can I? Can I? Um, all right, I can move the document. Here we go. All right. The ones in the right-hand column are old keys. So these are 
old keys. The colored keys are for the security door. The colored metal keys, which is like that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Um, the square gold keys and black plastic keys are for all devices and apparatuses in the shop. The round triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. The round green plastic keys for your motorcycle. Red plastic keys for the safe. The small gold keys for the little box of your mother's things. The other three are for the storage rooms and warehouses where you keep lots of. So we gotta find the storage room and warehouse keys. Um, so. The right hand column we don't deal with. What about gold keys? The square gold keys. That key looks like one of them. It's a silver it's a it's a silver key? Hey Captain, what's going on? It's a it's a circular silver key. I think that's one of them. Ooh, is it? What about silver keys? Let's see. Oh, the colored, the colored metal keys. Which are those? That's whatever. We don't need to deal with those. Um, the round and triangular. Silver keys are copies made from the old display cases. So triangular and silver. That key looks pretty interesting. That key is pretty unique. I'm not gonna lie. That's a weird key. So it's, I think that one, because that, that's a square metal key. Is that the right one? Cause that looks like a weird key. Mm. Doesn't say nothing about square round or uh, a round square round gold keys, right? No. Not picking that one up. It's a key puzzle, and it sucks. Mm. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. Oh, man. Got to search the house here a little bit. Some more doors. Right. Oh. I think we're safe in this area. Ah. Oh, there's clothes there. Okay. Small key. Hmm. 
All right, that could go into the the cabinet uh, in the bathroom, I think. Cool here. Ooh, Dracula. So let's go to the medicine cabinet. Let's get. What do we need to get? Got a bottle of luminol. Mm -hmm. Unopened 150 mil. We got a huge amount here. It comes from Trilabs, and there's a Triforce on it. That's <laughs> that's pretty cute. So we have two uh, we have two ingredients: uh, luminol and hydrogen peroxide. Uh, we still do the stupid key puzzle. Which might take us forever and a half. This is a pla that's, that's gone. Ooh, this key. What is this? A square. Uh, round and triangular. Oh, hold on. Good. I got it! Nice! Perfect. I. Mmm! There we go. Okay, so these are the keys to the storage room. These are the three keys that we need. Um, cool. Uh, the Mercy skin is cool, but I don't play her that much. It, it, it's awesome because it's her it's her Doctor Ziggler um, skin, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I well, I mean, back in the day you played Mercy a lot, but now it's you know I think mainly Lucio Baptiste and stuff, you know. Mercy's still there. I mean, I think Mercy's pretty good in, in certain circumstances. All right, we got the key. We got the keys. All right, so that's cool. I think we're done in this area. Uh, we have... Oh, we have our gold collar, uh, Coltar token. We're going to go back over there and, and see what we get. Um... Examine this. I've been playing. So. So. You're playing your Zen. You play Zenyati? Zenyati? Hmm. Look for blood remains. I've been playing so much, I should say. <laughs> you play a lot of Overwatch? Nice. Yeah, I only play, like, you know, certain times. And that's about it. Um. Where are we? There's a door with a key. Oh, that's from the, that's the other the other one. Um, yeah, I think we're good here. This guy had a lot of keys. All right, let's go back out into the terror. Is this one for this? Nope. Okay. So we do, oh we, we can we can jump out the window. <laughs> is it this window? Right, it's not that window. I think it's maybe this window. We have to jump out the window. 
second floor? There we go. Uh, let's use the wrench. There we go. going to be quite colorful this guy is his name is Renee but he sounds Jamaican I don't know Walter Sullivan secure that's the security guard uh, let me put down a note here uh, what is it oh nine five three four because you know that's gonna be like useful or something right so I I'm not good on like with Zenyatta I'm not really that good with him right an old school torch with a clip attachment. Hmm. It's missing the light bulb. We have a light bulb actually. Hold on a second. Good. Nice. Um, hmm. So what, what is this? An old school torch, light bulb. And there's ultraviolet light. Okay. I don't know what that's for, but we got it. We're gonna go back to the machine. Mm -hmm. Open this bad boy up. Let's go back to the uh, Zoltar machine. Heart's beating. Let's get out of here. Sounds like a subway. freaks me out a little bit. It's like, what the hell is it? No explanation. It's just like an earthquake for no reason. Must be in California or something. Yeah, let's check out this machine. A prediction from the Turn machine. I see your future. What do I see? Something there that shouldn't be. Okay. Alright, where do we go now? Um, downstairs, maybe? Oh, yeah, down, uh, well, hold on, we have to go back to the dark room, I think. We found everything I think we needed. Let me see the, uh, instructions here. Let's go to the dark room and let's see what that will entail. Because I think we, I, not that we have everything, but I think we have stuff here that can get us going uh, to the dark room. Because I think we need to get to the dark room first, then jump to uh, whatever, because we, we looked everywhere. I think we're good. The UV light, I think, comes in the dark room too. So, yeah, let's go over there. Let's make some.
make some make some tracks. Door closed behind me there. If I find whoever's responsible for this. circled around hopefully uh What the fuck, really? This guy's strong. Good thing I go to the gym. <laughs> Good thing I go to the gym. Oh shit. Okay, do I have all of it? All right, I do. All right, let me let me cool down here for a second. My heart's beating still. All right. So, let's check out the note. So, 200 milliliters of stabilizer, regardless of the amount of product. One milliliter of dimethyl sul uh, sulfoxide, two mil of hydrogen peroxide for each milligram of luminol. 50 ml of distilled water as a base, and another 50 ml of the total mixture. It can only be more than a liter. All right, so. So this puzzle's really like. Uh, I guess it's just kind of like trial and error, I suppose.
that goes down. So everything we got was was correct. Yeah, it's R. It's but it's it's worse than RE2, man. It's like. It's like, it's like, he, here's a solution, but we have it blocked, you know what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's really, like, just, it's really tedious. I think we, right. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Okay, cool. Hmm. Ooh, I know how to take it. Hold on. Alright, so we have luminol spray. So, this is a thing of hydrogen peroxide and luminol. Hmm? Alright, so we have that done. This is like, that was probably the... I, we had it right, but the problem was is that it had to be the correct solution, which sucks. All right. I think, um... The thing that sucks is that, um, this... I think the guy's dead in there. All right, so where do we have to go next? Oh my God, that was a... <sighs> so far, this this episode has had two terrible puzzles that took way too long. Um, okay, I missed. Now we have to find how to get downstairs. I think we go down into the storage room area over here. I think that's where we need to go next. This is a very long uh, episode, though. This is a very long episode. He is strong man. Good thing I go to the gym. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we're not we're not going through that door. Yeah, that's that's the door we need to get to though. Let's let's leave. Let's see what happens here. Good thing I go to the Oh shit. Fuck. Every time. See if that door is open. There's two doors we haven't opened yet down there.
There's that door, and there's the door over here. Let's see what this door sounds like. Gas meters. Ah. Well, oh, we got a platinum coin. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, this is not a house. This is like a. a, a, a business and then in back of that you have a couple of apartments or lofts or something like that so this episode is is huge compared to the mansion the mansion was done in like 15 seconds on a speed run but this one's just a lot bigger and there's a lot more things you can do uh but so far i had two puzzles which took way way long but then again, on the first playthrough, at least. Um, this is our last one, hopefully. We've got a... we got a... Hey, it's my wisdom tooth. Holy shit. we got a wisdom tooth. We exchanged our prize uh, for the uh, the wisdom tooth for some reason. Let's run the hell down here. Get a blue light. Well, that's a bit outside my area of expertise, but if the forensic team can do it. Oh. Hmm. I but I need to find a wardrobe. Pretty interesting.
Wait, what do I do? Dude, where the fuck do I go? I, I have no idea where I go. This music's like fucking stressing me out a little bit, yeah. Ops. I know, right? Music is, is... A lot faster and a lot quicker now. Like... Dude, where the fuck do you go? Just making my way downtown. Yeah, I'm making my way downtown. So I guess, I, I guess it's, a, it's a visual cue on the music more than uh, it is with the... fuck to do? Where's the stupid outfit that I'm looking for? Turn the fuck around. I hate the controls. Walking fast past paces. Oh, just great. You know what's great? Mannequins. Mannequins. Fucking mannequins. I think it might be in one of these doors that have like the hand on it. I have to apply the to the wardrobe and check whether it has traces of blood on it. No traces of blood. I'll keep. I need to keep looking. Okay. All right. So far, we're still good. This music is not having.
Alright, what the fuck, man? It's the same goddamn room. I'm going the wrong way now. I think we're on the right track though, because the blood. <laughs> it's not a horror game without mannequins, I know, right? We, we have the blood traces. Now we got. It's like going this way, so. Let's see. Let's go this way. I haven't lost the trail yet, though. So when the music gets louder, uh, that's when problems occur. Now what the fuck, man? That's not fun. There's enough fun doing this shit at like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> it was just a terrible idea. We're gonna go out. Dude, the, the controls kind of suck a little bit too. Oh, we got a door here. There's so many fucking, like, dude, fucking turn around. There's so many, like, ways it wants to go. Ah. All right, let's keep going here. Circles too. This is the worst it's goddamn worst chapter so far. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck this game. Uh, the fucking wall, the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not even holding down, like, I'm not even pressing down an L3, and it's pressing down an L3. I'm like, God damn it. I don't want to die. <laughs> you follow the blood trail. And you get there. Right? Is that how it works? I'm not going this way. Okay, go through here. I know where that is. We're back where the mannequins are. Okay, good. We're getting, we're, we're getting a, a visual here. Well, there's just a question of where the 
stupid thing is, the handprints are the ones to go. I'm gonna follow this the wrong way. Hold on. Can, um, yeah, okay, so basically if we don't follow that path, then, um, So we gotta follow the blood trail. Why can't you be the right fucking wardrobe, man? It's the same place over and over again. Ugh. Let's go down this way. It's a dead end. Okay. This door is... That's the door we... Yeah, that's the door we need to go. Okay. So if you hide in... If you hide in the room, I hear that little thud. And that's when... I guess that makes it, like, all clear. and stuff, that's when you go back in here. I'm not a fan of this episode. I, I'm just not a fan. The first one was good, but this one's just, I don't know, it seems a little tedious. And of course, you need of course, to find your way out and stuff. I'm gonna be stuck down here forever. And the thing that sucks is there's no map. <laughs> that blows. See, that's where the... See, that's where the blood is, though, right? You know what I mean? Like, that's where the blood is, but the problem is the blood's blocked off by two exit signs. There are two exits, though, right? I think there, there has to be two exits in here. That's what's confusing me right now, is there's two exits. Oh, we got a door here, hold on. Old junk. Okay. All right. This is this is a new door right here, so we're we're kind of getting somewhere. This door looks familiar. It's a junk room. Okay. We're we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I wish I could too, but the problem is, you know, when, you know, it, it's kind of there, but kind of not there, but half the fun of it is, is kind of doing this, you know what I mean? That's kind of the fun part.
Ooh, hold on. Hold up. We found it. There we go. Oh, great cat. This must, must be the mark left behind by a murder. A murder. Just listen to this tape. All right, let's listen to the tape. I think I'm going mad. So, um, Alright, that just fucking ramped up the, the, the fun factor right there with that area. Holy shit, that was crazy. Oh my god. Um, you can actually go in there without the solution, but, you know, you wouldn't know where to go. I'm pretty sure there's, like, if there's guides, they'll tell you left, right, left, right, right, left, you know what I mean? Straight. All right, so we have to go to Mr. Farver's office, which is um, in the flat. I should have worn diapers tonight, but I'm not wearing diapers. Just to let you know. Oh, man. So Mr. Farber's office is uh I think it's the interior flats. I think that's where we have to go next. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't have a flashlight anymore. It's all good. Because that's the only door that's locked. You know what I mean? Breaking in. Oh, great God. Oh, God. Agent 113 is here. We've got it back. Is that it? I think that's it. There was Farber. God. 
don't even want to think about what must have happened in his final moments. As he was hanging from that noose with the bloody music box on the table next to him. I don't want to think about it, but somehow, very deep within me, I know the song was playing throughout his agony, stalking him to the very frontier between life and death. God. At least we had found the music box, and we knew where it came from. The Grant Amsberg auction, it said, on the list of product parts, alongside an address. According to Husha, things had improved after returning the box to Faba. So by returning it to its owner, perhaps we might be able to solve all this. Sounded unlikely, but considering my hallucinations, the things we found at the antique shop and Mr. Faba's terrible end, if it could all come to some good, we had to try it. Isolated far from the world, in a holiday manor that must be about 100 years old, the lady who owned the sinister box awaited us. For my little Ariadne read the engraving on the inside of the cover. Good for her then. Doesn't seem like the ideal place to find an old lady. Do you think she still lives here? I don't know. The papers from the auction stated that the owner had sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? This place gives me the creeps. Hello? Are you Miss Legrand? Ariadne Legrand? Amsberg. Pardon me? Le Grant Amsberg. It's hyphenated. Oh, well, my name is Daniel Neuer, and I work for a publishing firm. Through a series of chance occurrences, I found something I believe is yours. It seems crazy, but when you listen to it, that's its fox. Um, no, I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says... I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back, Mr. Neuer. Have you listened to it? Um, yes. He has listened to it. <laughs> she seems disturbed. She grabbed the music box as if she truly needed it. The important thing is she took it. Let's get out of here. Thanks for letting me sleep here. Of course. Whatever you need. I'll even let you sleep on the couch. It's more than enough. I, I just need a couple of nights. That will suffice. I don't feel like staying in an empty house after everything that's going on. You can stay as long as you want. Seriously. Thanks. At least I know you won't drink my wine. Very funny. <laughs> what? Hey, Sophie? That had not been a nightmare. I was awake. For certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like... Like those described by father in his letter. Shortly before hanging himself from the beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. His whereabouts was still unknown, and his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents, he was researching, delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there. 
happened as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husher, but this time, my life depended on it. Not a story. That was pretty good. Episode 2. Um, opinions on it. I think that the puzzles were... Not that they were crazy, but they were just a little bit too long to figure out and complete. Uh, the chemistry puzzle was a little bit weird, but... I mean, I had it, I had it down, but the problem was... Was, uh... I, I you know, with the, with the, the B one. Uh, the B chemical. You gotta turn on for one second, and then after doing all that, you turn it back on for ten seconds, stop it, and then put the solution in. Um, so I kind of had that right, um, but the the Chinese finger trap puzzle that was you know I took a little bit of time to. Um, not a fan of that, and then going down into the corridor was was pretty was pretty crazy. Uh, I did not expect that. Uh, to be that way. Um, that was interesting. Um, it, it seemed a little bit more slow-paced uh, than episode one. Episode one seemed to have a little bit more better scares and stuff. Um, the, uh, the the blind enemy, that was okay. Um, it, was, it was a little bit different from the, the, the quick time events. This game is just a big weird thing. Yeah. It, it pretty much is, but it's it's very interesting uh, how this game is played, and the tank controls really screwed with my head too. So it, it did its it, it did its job, and it was it was well worth the fun. You, you don't like the multiple arms? It was a lot more suspenseful though. Those the the arm uh, downstairs thing <laughs> it almost got me, and I was I kept pull, I kept pressing down on L three. <laughs> I'm like, come on, freaking move.